don't know why you don't have an outside job that also makes you wear a t-shirt. This is a mess. If I start wearing tank tops now, I'm going to be some sort of tri-blend freak. So, either way, y'all going to watch this now. Watch me bounce light off my shoulders. Three, two, one, bro. What's up, everybody? My name is Michael Lee Murphy. And this is Metagame Minute. Now, what I want to talk about, something kind of specific and small. Uh, we've talked so much about boxes and inserts and everything. And I just I get fascinated because it's just there's so many things you could potentially do. And I want to talk about one game in particular um, called Flatline. Now, Flatline is a really fun game. It's a pseudo sequel to Fuse. It's a game where you're trying to roll different combinations of dice to essentially heal patients. The patients are represented by different lines of symbols that you have to match and put dice down and stuff. It's a cooperative game. It's a lot of fun. There's real-time elements where you have one minute to kind of roll your dice and allocate those dice. Um, and it's just, it's a great game. Now, the box itself is just kind of like a standard, you know, there's a little bit of cardboard on the inside, fairly standard empty shell type box, nothing too crazy. So it got me thinking, like, this is a game all about dice rolls. And the ability for dice to roll well really is kind of dependent upon the surface that you're rolling those dice and a lot of tables just your standard kitchen table or uh, certainly like a plastic folding table something like that are just not built for dice rolling weirdly walmart did not think board gamer when they thought that they just thought let's make that money so um it's nice to have something like you know, a, a, a neoprene like mouse pad type material you can throw down to, to have something to roll dice or a dice tower, something like that. And it got me thinking like, dude, Flatline is a game that uses a lot of dice rolling or fuse for that matter. What they should do is have it be like the inside of the box just has not even the whole thing, just a section of area where the bottom of the box has actually got that, that like neoprene material so that the box itself is a dice tray. Whoa, that would be dope. You know, and just like taking your box and have it be like when you set it up, it's utilitarian. Uh, you know, one great example of a box that uses itself is uh, Ice Cool. Uh, it's it's a little flicking dexterity game. You're sliding these little penguins around and it just basically has kind of a Russian nesting doll situation where you take off the lid of the box and inside there's a bunch of just different kind of like little trays that you assemble in a certain way and the whole box itself assembles the, the kind of board. And I'm like, that's really cool, but like, what if we had something where it's just a small bit, where if it's a dice game, it's like a little box, it's just like, have just a little bit of that material, you pay $2 more or whatever, and it's its own little dice tray, so if you take it on the go, no matter what, you have a good place to roll your dice, because the box itself is a tool. Um, so that's something that'd be kind of cool, like I've thought about doing a flat line, is kind of like tricking it out a little bit, and maybe doing that, and making like a little flat line thing, I'm sure other people have done stuff like that, so... Uh, this is your chance to tell us if you've done something like that where you turn the box into part of the game or you know of other great games that the box is part of the game because there are other examples out there. Let me know in the comments below. I want to hear what ideas you have for making the box really part of the game or a tool, something utilitarian to be used, uh, uh, to be utilized as part of your gaming experience. So let me know what's up in the comments below, folks. That's going to be it for me. I'll keep it nice and short today. All right. We've got a lot of other great stuff that's longer, like our top 10 Board game surprises, games that surprised us. Uh, games that we didn't really think of much when we first saw them or dismissed them out of hand and then finally played them and we're like, oh, this game is great. Um, so go check out that list right now. It'll be at the end of this video. You can click on that list. And uh, just remember, folks, whether or not you can care less about the box once you take out the goodens from within or if you're going to use every piece of the box, the more meta, the more better. Be honest. Do you think you're quick enough and possess a dexterity to snatch a bird out of the air mid-flight? These are the things I wonder about. While you're thinking about that, check out Restoration Games. They sponsor us. We have information for where to find them and their great games in the description below. <laughs> That's probably quick enough. Click over here, by the way.